there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stairs Beer Reviews here in the Homeport Motel in Lunenburg. Taking a look at the perfect beer for the perfect location. This is Lunenburg Coffee and Cocoa Stout that actually comes from the Alexander Keese Brewery, the special microbrew kind of thing that they do here at the at the at the, uh, the Halifax, the original Alexander Keese Brewing location. I think it's on Barrington Street. Anyway, yeah, they, um, I haven't, I, I can't remember what all the names of the ones that they've done so far, but they do specialty releases for, uh, that are usually available only at their brewery and some select NSLCs in Nova Scotia. And uh, I guess it's, I picked the perfect, either the perfect location or the perfect time to come down uh, to try this one because this is actually named after the place I'm staying. Coffee and Cocoa Stout, let's take a look at that. I'm kind of curious, I haven't had a chance to have any of these, um, um, the Alexander Key special releases yet. I'm going to use the Boddington's glass that was left in the uh, room here. Is that a pour? Liquor and whores! Liquor and whores! Liquor and whores! Anyway. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty. Nice dark appearance, big mocha head on it. Get a quick picture. Pull your pants up. Did you say pee your pants? I gave Greg one from my friend Greg from the camera club. I'm down here on a in Lunenburg for a camera club outing and uh, having some fun and having some beer. So let's give that a look. Very dark. Actually, you know what? I think it's the darkest thing I've ever seen from Keys. You hold it up to the light, there's like a little tinge of uh, like a an amber coming around the edge. But other than that, there's like, there's no, it's completely soot black. Be careful, get in your mouth. Really? It's probably where it's supposed to go. Anyway, yeah, that's, that's super attractive looking. Impressed. Give it a whiff. There's like a dusty cocoa aroma coming off the top of that. You better smell that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Um, there's a little bit of like a tannic tartness to the back of the aroma. And a little hint of stale coffee. Mmm. Smells okay. Definitely getting a little bit of coffee in there. It's like slightly tannic, maybe a little bit hint of berry. And uh, caramel, mocha caramel, and coffee. All right, mocha caramel and chocolate. Yes, sorry. All right down the hatch. Cheers. Mm hmm. Mild dusty cocoa flavoring kind of coats the inside of the mouth. You get like this little bit of like a a woodsy, smoky hint of oak tan and uh, wrapping around the mouth too. It's, the flavor is very decentralized. On top of that you get uh, coffee. Again, the stale coffee I was mentioning. Do you have to push that hard? Jeez. Hmm. Not nearly as much chocolate as I want. And it's not as heavy as I want for a stout, but that's probably one of the best beers I've ever had that had the Keese logo on it. That's not bad. It's not one that I would run back to the store to get, but trying for the first time, I don't mind buying a six pack of this, especially when I got arseholes like Greg taking a shit right now in the bathroom uh, to split them with. Anyway, this is its not bad. I wouldn't uh, would recommend it, but it's not my favorite. Solid effort. I'll give it a 3.25 out of 5. I'm enjoying that. What do you give it out of 5, Greg? He gives it a 2. Okay. Anyway, yeah, uh, Alexander Keith's Lunenburg Coffee and Cocoa Stout. Try it if you want to try it. Probably limited, available for a limited time only. It's probably already gone, but whatever. 
Good enough to try. Right. Talk to you later, folks. Cheers.